again. No, obviously not. Bankruptcy, job loss, violence, death. In today's America, more than 100,000 people died from the coronavirus pandemic. The citizens are suffering, and the country is falling a downward spiral of ethnic violence. Society is in turmoil. It's a very different image from what America used to have. Since World War II, the United States has been a superpower, holding its position as the world's largest economy for a long time. Look at the current new season of Black Mirror situation. What exactly has gotten the United States into this situation? The most fundamental reason, I would say, it is because we voted for a liar with no political experience nor responsibility to be the president, which directly brought the many criminals and idiots into our government. It is not hard to understand the inner logic. All we need is a few simple comparisons of what they said versus what happened, and the facts will emerge. The time for empty talk is over. Now arrives the hour of action. Round one, what they said versus what happened. Liberating our citizens from this Obamacare nightmare. Because the Trump administration ignored his warnings in the early days of the pandemic. Where are the ventilators? Where are the gowns? Where's the PPEs? Where are the masks? Where are they? Round two, what they said versus what happened. I can tell you that there is a significant amount of evidence that this came from that laboratory in Wuhan. Do you believe it was man-made or genetically modified? Look, the mass experts so far seem to think it was man-made. I have no reason to disbelieve that at this point. Two seconds later. Your office of the DNI says the consensus, the scientific consensus, was not man-made or genetically modified. That's right. I, I agree with that. Of course, this is not the first time that Pompeo has been incoherent. Actually, Mike Pompeo has a long history of talking nonsense. The intelligence community is not flawless. We, we, we get it wrong. Do you think North Korea remains a nuclear threat? Yes. But the president said he doesn't. It's not what he said. Uh, I mean, I, 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 know, I know precisely he tweeted what he said. That there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. That's like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, Mr. Pompeo, the current U.S. Secretary of State, and maybe the most famous self-contradictory idiot in the world. Round 3. What they said versus what happened. They can call me an anti-Semite, they can call me racist, they can call me native, they can call me anything you want, okay? I don't understand. Is it okay to be a racist now? Then, let us see what happens if an influential public figure is happy to be a racist. Please, I can't breathe. Please, man. Okay. Go inside now! Get in the hell! Only a few sets of contrasts, I believe you can feel it. That in today's America, there is no genuine plan, credibility, or justice from leadership. And on the contrast, they are loaded with corruption, lies, and implicit or even obvious racial bias. The president and his friends will never stand with the citizens, but calling out the American military against American citizens because they are businessmen. They only care about themselves. Four years ago, Mr. President said he was going to liberate us from nightmare. But actually, 
He and his criminal Republican cronies are the nightmares of America. Hope all of you enjoy the great America. Why I said the percentage of criminals in the Republican leadership is too high. 